I'm Gabe Jewell, and this is Comic Smack, the weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comics and superheroes. And on today's show, we're going to be taking a closer look at Moon Knight, issue number two. Mark Spector is still trapped inside an insane asylum, but things are not what they seem. Let's hop on in and find out what happens next, shall we? Also, I promise intros like this aren't going to become a regular thing. It's just, you know, kind of late in the week, and I uh, forgot to uh, film an insert for this, and I wanted to get it out by eight. So, uh, yeah. So, as we join the comic, Mark Spector is still in the creepy Shutter Island-esque insane asylum. However, after having his eyes opened by Khonshu, the moon god, last issue, he's starting to see all the flaws in this illusion. For one, hospitals like this only exist in the movies like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and not in real life anymore. Furthermore, to that, the lady doctor overseeing him, her name is very similar to the Egyptian god of judgment. The hospital staff throw poor Mark into the the electroshock therapy machine once again. This is excruciatingly painful, but it does allow Mark to converse with Khonshu. Khonshu fills Mark and by extension the reader in on what's really at stake here. It seems that these Egyptian gods, who aren't really gods by his definition, more like powerful extra-dimensional beings, have been waging war for a long time now, and this is just yet another battle in it. Seth and his followers have managed to actually break on through to the other side, while Khonshu and everyone else is still trapped in their limbo plane. Another surprise revelation, it seems that Mark was chosen as the Moon Knight as the champion of Khonshu, not because he was somehow spectacular or anything, no, it's just that his mind was very weak and easily influenced by other dimensional beings like Khonshu. You would think that might depress him, but it doesn't. In fact, he's more resolute now than ever, and when he gets back to the sitting room, a bunch of the other patients are ready to try and stage a breakout, empowered by the breakout attempt Mark had last issue. Again, whether you knew it or not, a bunch of the other patients in the Asylum are actually existing characters from previous Moon Knight's run, including the man known only as Frenchie. I also really enjoyed the old hippie man in his Technicolor dream vest, who says that because he's taken so many psychotropic drugs in his day, his mind is actually less susceptible to the control of these evil Egyptian spirits. Later that night, the inmates are ready to stage their breakout, and Mark is reunited with an old friend, his Moon Knight costume. I'm glad to see they brought the suit variant, as it is a very slick, very modern take on the classic costume. As the comic winds down, Moon Knight leads his people through the tunnels under the hospital facility. It's very strange, though, as this place is also filled with sand and weird hieroglyphs. The last thing we see is a bunch of subway cars open their doors and a bunch of mummies come tumbling up. Man, I always knew New York transit systems were bad, but mummy bad? That's a whole nother level, man. Moon Knight number two continues to be a mind-bendy take on classic street-level superhero fare. Jeff Lemire has clearly brought a lot of ideas to this new series, and with that also come a great deal of retcons. You gotta wonder with stuff like this, how long is it going to stay, or will another writer just come along later and retcon all of it away? The art, of course, needs its own special compliment, so wonderfully grainy and creepy. Overall, I'd feel comfortable giving this one a 7.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer, or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you wanna like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.